All right, I'm going to show you how you work with jobs uh, and job queues uh, on the AS400, i-Series, and IBM i power system. Uh, the, to we work with uh, jobs that are in job queues, first I want to explain that uh, there's basically two types of jobs on this system. You have an interactive job and you have batch jobs. What you see here on the screen, okay, this login that I have going, that is an interactive job. Uh, everything else falls into what's known as a, as a batch job. So um, when a job, uh, say like a report or a query or, or something like that, gets submitted to batch to run, it goes into a job queue where it waits its turn uh, to then go into the subsystem to run. So subsystem is actually where the job is being crunched uh, and worked on and it's being allocated um, you know CPU cycles and memory um, and disk resources to actually do what the job was designed to do uh, whether that's doing a report or whatnot and then the job queue is the area where it's uh, kind of in transition or waiting so I'll show you how to work with jobs in a job queue and to do that you do use the WRK job queue command I'll go ahead and press enter. So here we see the work with all job queues. By default, uh, that command, um, the work job queue command, brings up all the job queues um, and lists them on the screen. And then here you can see there's all these different job queues um, on this particular system. Your system might be a little bit different uh, because you can create your own job queues um, to kind of I won't say customize, but to make things easier, more manageable on your system, uh, you might have your own job queues um, for jobs. So there's all these different job queues on the system. And then uh, one thing you can do um, is you can hold the job queue by putting it on three. And what that will do when a job queue is held is it will um, just queue up jobs. Any job that's in it, it won't release it to the subsystem. So in this case here, you see I put job queue queue batch on hold and it releases its jobs to subsystem QBatch and right here this little status tells me that it's uh, being put on hold if I F5 it will show it as an HLD status to release it so it'll let the jobs go off to the queue uh, off to the subsystem I just take an option 6 to release enter F5 and now that uh, job queue is released so that's how you can put job queues on hold and then they'll release them now to work with the jobs within a job queue like right here you see that this job there's a job in here uh, that I set up and, and put on hold actually um, so I could show you there's one job in this job queue here and I'm gonna go ahead and take a five so I can work with that job and then now here is a list of the jobs or job uh, in this particular job queue now just to show you again you can put individual jobs on hold and you can release them in this case I put this job in here and put it on hold just so I could show you uh, that it's um, on hold and then I'll go ahead and release it so it'll process and to do that uh, to put a job on hold in a job queue again option three if you want to change something about the job that's option two just to show you what that looks like uh, F10 here and there's all kinds of different settings and parameters that you can change about a job before it's submitted to run and then while it's running um, through the work active job screen you can change things around as well I'll back out of here and then I'll go ahead and release this job and it'll actually probably run so fast that you won't be able to see it um, if I was to try and show you work active jobs but if I F5 here we'll see that that job has now left the queue and it's either processing um, as I speak or it's finished processing